Gender equality within Kenya's ministries, departments and agencies is a matter of concern, with reports indicating that only 37% of the 389 organizations have women in top leadership positions. A recent report from the National Gender Equality Commission, NGEC, shows while 90% of those entities have uh, adhered to the one-third gender rule for their employees, there is a significant gender gap at the highest levels of decision-making. Women. women continue to be highly underrepresented in positions of leadership within government ministries, departments and agencies, according to a report by the National Gender Equality Commission, NGEC. A report by NGEC shows that only a paltry 37% of women hold leadership positions in state agencies, with a call being made for deliberate and more inclusive practices that reflect the diversity of the population. We could say yes, uh, 92 over 90 percent are complying with two, two that gender principles but where are the women you realize they are not on the top leadership gex ceo purity Ngina says individuals with disabilities are also highly underrepresented in government employment with only 1.5 percent occupying positions far below the mandated five percent set by national legislation One minute. the NGEC report also indicates a troubling trend in academia where leadership roles at universities are predominantly held by men women are often relegated to positions such as treasurers limiting their ability to influence key decisions and drive institutional change where decisions are made they are made by the chair or the secretary and those ones are normally are mainly men. So it would be important for university policies to ensure that if the chairperson is male, then the section is female. Hence, you're able to build uh, women who will become leaders uh, later in life. Advocate for policies that are gender responsive, budgets that are gender responsive. So Kenya's place um, in the scheme of things, in terms of numbers, we're not doing well. Even in the region, we are lagging. Aside from in the judiciary, because in the judiciary we have numbers, in, the women are doing very, women and men are almost at par. During the University of Nairobi's Women Economic Empowerment Hub Wednesday, university leaders and professors addressed socialization biases embedded in leadership policies. The importance of uh, systems and institutional change. You, we cannot continue training women all the time as if they're the ones who don't know as if they take very long to understand the basic things. And we also think that policy advocacy is very, very important. Women usually bring a different kind of experience. Women also bring in an emotional, and they are able to empathize, so that they do not just implement policies without thinking of the impact, and especially the impact on other women, the persons who are vulnerable, PWDs, children, and people living in marginal areas.